and welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you're ready to get started. If you are, hit that thumbs up and that subscribe button for me. So Gunnar and I started the day off. We went out to a very cute orchard and we picked out some apples. Um, they had a really cute shop inside. I would definitely suggest um, hitting them up in, I can't remember what the name of the town is, but I'll leave it in the description box. to get this house in shape I was just cleaning up the kitchen loading the dishwasher and cleaning up the fridge and I started making a grocery list for later that evening We got this bag for I believe $15 so we grabbed this bag I got two little boards for outside and we picked up oh we grabbed some apple cider from them as well espresso order now we're not that addicted to where I actually needed to buy all these but I had a deal since we just bought our espresso they came with a, a little booklet of all these deals that we could do so I had a, a code if I bought I think what was it 100 capsules I got a free gift so I'm a sucker for marketing so if you're gonna give me something free I'm gonna buy what I need in order to get that free item um, I mean, we're definitely gonna drink this coffee, so it's not a big deal. Um, so, yeah, I got a whole bunch of our favorite coffees again, and I will show you what I ended up getting as my free gift. free gift was two mugs, two coasters, and a sleeve of coffee, and I was actually really happy with the quality of those mugs.
now we're on to organizing the fridge. I do this every time before I go grocery shopping. I take everything out, organize it, throw away expired food, and then I wipe this bottom shelf down. anybody else but I absolutely hate these types of fridges so let me introduce myself and my situation a little bit to you guys because I know I haven't done that yet so my name is Taylor Hubbard I am married to Gunner and I am a dog mom to my little Ollie boy um so we actually are renters so everything I do on this channel is renter friendly so this fridge is clearly not my ideal fridge so I, I hate the fridges that have the fridge on the bottom because I feel like I have to crawl down to get to anything in the back or in the bottom shelf. So it's just, it's a whole ordeal. But um, I would love to know what you guys, you know, have for fridges. If you have one of these, what is something that you found that works for you? So now we're going to start decorating for Halloween. So I'm taking down some of my more neutral fall decor and I'm putting some of that up.
Alright, so I'm bringing up all of my new Halloween decor from the basement, which is where I had it stored. Most of this I got from TJ Maxx and Home Goods, so you should be able to find it at stores like that. So the lighting was absolutely terrible so this is what it looks like in the daytime i was very excited with the way that this turned out not to complicate this too much for myself so I just switched that candle out for a black one I forgot to record this part but this is stuff that I already had and I just put this in my kitchen windowsill So at this point my decorating was already done and I just needed to throw some um, laundry in so I grabbed the sheets off, I threw that in and then I tossed some clean sheets on and I threw up all my clean clothes on the clean bed so that way I could fold them. I had to convince little Mr. Ollie to get off the bed so I could take the sheets off.
So this is a really nice renter's moment for you too. Does anybody else have to do this? Prop anything in their windows to open? <laughs> so it was a really nice day out. So I wanted some cross breeze in. So I had to like stick a whole bunch of stuff in the windows. I think in our bedroom window, I actually had one of Gunner's boots in. <laughs> so yeah, if you know, you know. much later in the evening and Gunnar and I were sitting down to eat dinner so we had a stromboli in the oven and while that was in the oven we were making apple crisp. Uh, we decided to make apple crisp with all of our different kinds of apples that we picked earlier that day so it was so so good. I'll also try to link the recipe we used but it was just so delicious with all the different kinds of apples and all the different hardnesses and the, like flavors and oh my goodness, it was just incredible. So if you have the opportunity to do this, I would definitely recommend. So the apple crisp was done and out of the oven and I'm just scooping out our uh, bowls and of course you can't have apple crisp without ice cream and if you have this in your stores, the vanilla salted caramel ice cream, 
Definitely recommend with apple crisp. It just adds the extra flavor to the apples with the salted caramel and oh my goodness. Absolutely just the best. And of course, Ollie had to be in on the action. I invited him on the couch because I thought he was going to be good. And then he just tried to eat my ice cream. So we had to kick him off. If you guys haven't started watching The Rings of Power on Amazon Prime, I would definitely recommend it. It is such a good series and that's what we're watching in here. And you can see our concentration. But yeah, it's definitely a good series. So now we're coming upstairs, I'm going to be planning the month of October since it is now officially October. I can't believe it, I feel like yesterday was New Year's and just this entire year has just gone way too fast. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be planning out the month and I'm also going to show you how I do my budget. So first step is I pick the colors that I want to use. So I am just drawing the color of the highlighter on a sheet of paper so that way I know exactly what color I'm going to be using. And then I highlight the three days I'm off a week, which would be Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So that's what I'm doing just to kind of highlight my weekends. And then I go through my phone, look up any important appointments and uh, birthdays, stuff like that, and I put those in here. Now I'm also a big fan of the stickers and washi tape and clearly a bunch of highlighters. So that's the part that makes it fun for me and that's the part that keeps me going back to my planner. I wouldn't say that's the only part but it definitely makes it more fun. So I'm just adding some glittery black and gold washi tape to the top of this to kind of make it more of like a Halloween vibe to it. Uh, so that's what I'm doing and then I also have stickers in my planner that I'll be pulling out as well.
So this is my bullet journal. This is what I use to budget monthly. It definitely could be more efficient. I could be using like an Excel sheet or an app or something like that, but I don't. This is just how I do it because it makes me happy. I enjoy bullet journaling. So this is what I'm doing. Uh, I just write out the month and then um, all of our budgeted items and yeah, go from there. Thank you so much for spending the evening with me and I would love it if you would stick around and subscribe. I post every Friday, or at least I try to, I post every Friday so I hope to see you again. Bye friends!